Okay, folks, look, I know why you're here. You didn't see that. Check it out. This is late February. I'm outside using my grill. I feel bad for everybody out there that's out there in that cold, but don't trip. It's going to warm up. Now, I'm going to show you guys today just how to smoke, get some good smoke infusion, you know, inside of your... Look, I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to do a boneless, skinless chicken thigh, and I'm going to do traditional. My uh, my chicken thighs, right? And I just want to show you. It depends on the brand and how that QC is and all of that. Look at this right here. It's supposed to be skinless and boneless obviously the bone is gone but when i see it like this i like to go ahead and do a little bit of trim right so i'm gonna just go cut some of this out right just some of it remember this right here is like the flavor too you know what i mean the fat and some of that skin i like to have all of that you guys tell me how do you like to do yours now i'm not gonna do all of that that right there is good enough for me then i'm gonna go ahead and take this drop it in just like that and leave it now, I'm gonna do a couple of more of these and then I'm gonna show you what I do for the regular version of just chicken thighs. So after trimming up, trimming up the, that other, right? So now, I just wanna show you this. Now, obviously this got the bone. This is how it is when we put it in the oven, right? So if I flip this over here looking like this, I don't wanna do no tuck job or nothing like that. So I just take it, I can feel where my, you know, where the actual meat is and I just cut this excess off. All right, after you got everything in the bag, right? It's real simple. So what I'm gonna tell you is right now, some of you guys have probably already figured out, Look, I'm just smashing my garlic. But what you probably had already figured out is what we're we doing. We're making a little bit of a marinade, right? I don't want to mince the garlic. I notice when I mince the garlic, you know, when they small, fine little pieces like that, and when you put them on a the grill, especially if you put them on something like a, uh, like some kind of where it have direct flame underneath the bottom of it, what it'll do is, check this out, it'll make it where it get them little dark spots and it kind of like burn you know so you don't want that so all you want to do is you take it smash it open and go from there now pay attention to this right here i like to use the you know like the 33 percent less soy right i mean less salt so this is the less sodium soy sauce so you want to put about a third of a cup now don't forget this full ingredient list will be down on my on my website listen that's smoking and grilling with ab.com and that's w-i-t-a-b.com right so you want to get this on here just like this you know what i mean uh that's it. You only need about, about a third of a cup. Look, I got to do honey. Y'all know about it. They already put the flat top on there so you can do that. You know what I mean? So you can get every little bit of a drop, right? So put this in here. We want to get this to going. Now, you know this is nice and thick, right? That's where that little, that little apple cider vinegar comes in, right? But we did say we doing honey garlic. Honey, you saw the garlic. So now we come with some apple cider vinegar just to cut that honey. So we're gonna put in a couple of tablespoons. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of this dry thyme to it, right? So, it's a little bit on the windy side out here. I'm gonna say put in about a tablespoon, but I'm gonna tell you this, like you really can't put too much thyme in nothing, you know what I mean? It'll be nice. Then we're gonna give it a couple of generous pinches of salt. That's all we need. Then we're gonna come right back over the top, you know, with that black pepper. Okay, so after you got all the, every all your ingredients in the inside, I don't take all the air out. Cause I kind of like want to do like a little bit of a, you know, mix, you know? So I want to have a little air in there, but you want to make sure you mix it good cause you put everything on top. I could have done this in a bowl, you know what I mean? But I'm just like saving some steps for myself. You know what I mean? Cause I am the one that does not you know, does the, uh, the dishes. So as you guys can see, look, you can see that right there. It gets everywhere. All right, now I'll open this up. Take it. Let all of the air out now. All right? Take this. Put it here. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate. I'm going to give it a couple of hours. Listen, if you guys got any forethought, you know what I mean? A good eight hour be great. You know what I mean? Overnight is good. Uh, one hour will work. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna do a couple of hours so we can get that, that infusion. You know what I mean? And then we finna put this on the grill. Okay, folks, let me just tell you what happened. Listen, I said I was gonna do that for a couple of hours. I come back, right? I ended up getting a couple of phone calls and like just life took over and now it's the next day. So this is marinated, you know, overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys what it looks like. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that right there. That's what you wanna get, right? When it look like that, 
Now, I got a baking sheet over here on the side. I'm just gonna stage everything here. Move this out you guys way, and I'll just do it. Remember the little trim we did? Look how the skin just lays on there nice. It's not laying on the side. I didn't have to do no tuck work. Okay, so look, after we get everything staged, now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do is, look, I get myself paper towels, kind of like fix it, fix it in this configuration like this, right? What I'm gonna do is before I open this up, I'm gonna take this and just work off to the side. I'm gonna put a little bit of my olive oil on here because I, what I'm trying to do is create my grapes to be non-stick, right? A lot of times you guys see me doing this, I forget. You know what I mean? And then when I go to flip something, it's an issue, right? So we got it on there like that. Now I just take this and just rub it on the top. Just a little pro tip for you guys, right? I can do a little bit inside of this and I know I'm letting a lot of my heat out, but fortunately, I'm using this pellet grill, right? This is my go-to, folks. You know what I mean? I have another one of these. You guys will see it in one of my next videos because what I'm going to do is I'm, I usually take this around everywhere. Like when I do a little camping, if you guys didn't know, I camp. You know what I mean? I do things like that. Go to the racetrack. This is how I got wings and hot food when I'm out. All right, so what I'm going to do is open this up and then we just going to stage these. Now, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and start with my meat side down with, you know, with my regular thighs. And then these, just the way I have them, is the way I'm going to put them down. Now, oh, let me just tell you this. I set my internal temp at 425 degrees. You can see I let a lot of heat out, but it's on its way up right now. 389, 390, it's on its way back. So this will come back. I'm going to open this up one more time. And we're getting ready to just stage these on here. Okay, so listen, the number one question is, I know that everybody wanna know it, like how long? I'ma quit telling everybody how long because if I tell you how long, my size and my meat might be different than your size, right? So if I tell you one hour, then one hour yours might be over cooked or under done, right? So listen, I'ma just say this, you gotta get yourself one of these meat thermometers, right? These right here is what you gotta have. This tells you when your food is done. I can tell you approximately about the time and I'ma say, Use these, especially for the ones with the skin on them and the bone, that's gonna take about an hour. You know what I mean? With uh, 425 degrees. But I'm gonna check them after about 25 minutes, right? Because I got the boneless, skinless. Those will be done before that. And you wanna save your marinade, because when I do check them, I wanna brush them and keep them nicely coated. Then I'm gonna flip them, right? So you just wanna save this, put it in there and get yourself a brush. Remember, we want to go to 165. Even if you go to 160, that's cool, you know what I mean? Because when you take it out, don't forget, the temperature is going to rise a little bit more. Hey, these are pro tips, folks. After looking at it, look, you know we had brown sugar in there, right? Then with soy, stuff like that. Look, it give you them dark edges around there. That's where you get a lot of that flavor from, right? So now we flip it over. Look at this right here. That's what you're looking for. Just that million dollar right here, right? Ah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and move this over here like this. Then you want to stay on top of it now because we're coming down to the last little bit. Now is when you want to start taking your probe and getting the base of where you're at. And that'll decide you when you're going to come back and, you know, you know, take it off. These will probably be ready in just a minute. Oh, these are good. You guys can brush on the other side. Look, it'll just create a little bit of the smoke if you brush the tops and then flip them over. But I'm going to do it like this just to protect the top right here. Infuse it with a little bit more of that flavor. Bake that on there. Let it kind of like, you know, caramelize on there. You guys can hit all of these edges. You can hear it as it drips down, you know what I mean, along with the fat from the chicken. Then you want to get yourself a gauge and figure out where you're at. These right here are coming along just fine. Look at this, one, two. We getting close, folks. Just about on the money right here, right? These actually went a little bit further than I would like. Those went to 165, so we know they're gonna rise just a little bit. But if you guys look at this, look at this. I don't want to squeeze them. You can see, man, they got, you know, juice just running out of it. Let's look at the back end of this one. That's what you want, folks. Right? And then these need to go just a little bit longer. You know what I mean? So we can achieve that, you know, the fully cook. So you guys can see, look at that color right there. Look at that. Okay, folks. 
So look, this is what we looking like, right? So I just put it on my board, you know, then we'll just go ahead and give it a cut, right? So we don't have no bone over there. I'll just cut it like this. Look at that. You can look at the color of the meat, see that it's cooked fully. You know what I mean? Uh, let me turn this around this way. Look at that. Mm, nice, still, juicy. You know, it's that dark meat, so it's gonna stay that way. Listen, I'm not finna over talk none of this. I'm finna take this. Ah, my goodness. Cheers, y'all. Check it out, folks. This right here is fire. Listen, we eat with our eyes, so you guys see it. You can see it's fully cooked. And now, let's talk about like the flavor. Now, I'm using my Rectech Bullseye X, right? I want you guys to look with me standing next to it. Look at the size of it. You know what I mean? No, I don't, I can't say enough about it. This right here is like super easy to use, right? You got your hopper. All you gotta do is take you some pellets, put that in the inside. You got a decent size, you know, surface. And this gives you the same flavor as any other, you know, grill master out there. Remember, Rectech Bullseye X, portable tailgate, take it where you go. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm finna be short, folks, cause I'm ready to eat. I'm out, peace.